I have said it many times, and I will continue to say it over and over again until people start to take it on board. Pointing out the flaws in an individual's character does not lessen the validity of said individual's argument. I, along with many others, are becoming bored by this repeated attempt to shut down arguments without actually addressing the argument whatsoever. Far too often do I see leftists ignore completely valid points made by a person and instead bring the thunder down onto the person's personal attributes. For example, let's say I'm arguing with someone over religion, more specifically Islam. Say I'm making an argument about how the Quran says it's okay to kill all non-believers. But now instead of addressing the fact that the Quran says it's okay to kill all non-believers, my opponent instead decides to call me a bigot and an Islamophobe, and starts to question why I think I have the right to speak on the subject of Islam. Now regardless of whether I'm actually a bigot or not, the person I'm debating has still failed to address the point I made about the subject at hand. Instead, they have managed to divert the conversation entirely from Islam to being about my personality instead. Oh, and yes, these people will be sure to make a scene out of this. If this is a debate taking place on social media such as Facebook, then expect them to try and take the moral high ground over you so that their friends think that they are such a great and intelligent human being. Another example, I'm discussing with someone on Twitter about how fat acceptance is a negative thing, and being fat is not a thing that should simply be accepted. I'm making the case that instead of just accepting people for being fat, we should be encouraging them to lose weight and be healthy. So the person I'm debating asks me why. I tell them that being fat increases your chances of various different health problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. Now instead of addressing my argument, my opponent instead starts telling me I'm a hypocrite because I'm overweight myself. Little does, little does my opponent realize, me being a hypocrite does not have any bearing on the points I have just made. I acknowledge that I am unhealthy. I acknowledge that I should do something about that. Being fat does not make me any less right about the health risks of being fat. If someone you meet in a bar one night gives you a big talk on why drugs are bad and explains to you all the health risks on different drugs, then that person goes outside and shoots up some heroin. Does that make everything he said about the health risks of different drugs less factually correct? Of course it doesn't. If someone is smoking a cigarette and starts telling you about why you shouldn't smoke because smoking is bad for you, does that make them wrong? Of course not. Not following your own advice does not make your advice any less valid. Taking out this away from the hypocrisy aspect, if a murderer tells you that stealing is wrong, is his statement invalid? Of course stealing is wrong, and yes of course killing other people is bad too. But just because a person has done one bad thing, that does not negate their ability to identify what another bad thing is. So what have we learned today class? Correct, today we learned that when debating with another human being, we should ignore their personal attributes entirely, and instead we should only give responses corresponding to that person's argument. You're welcome, society.